Zig Day on the range, we got a variety for my friend Gail to choose from. Hey guys, Hi. it's <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Armed and Feminine, and I am with my friend Gail. And Gail's actually been shooting with us for several years now. And um, we're not gonna make fun or judge or anything, but Gail is 72 years old and she is an amazing shot. She's been a good student, she practices, she does everything well. She has been used to having the SIG P320 in the compact, which is actually kind of big. Yeah. Yeah, and actually what she just said to me today is that she's sort of shrinking um, as she gets older, and so she's not really able to carry uh, concealed that bigger gun very easily. So I said to her, hey, I got a 365 and I got a 365 XL. Why don't you come out and just try them since you like the SIG line so much and they're both really good, reliable guns. I think you're going to like them. And of course she took me up on the offer. Who wouldn't say yes to shooting some guns? So let's take a look at what we have here. Um, so tell me first of all about your 320. You originally purchased this one, why? Well actually I purchased the subcompact first. I remember, right. Yeah, and then I went to the larger gun. Um, I liked the uh, trigger pull. It was nice and smooth. I didn't feel like I had to, uh, I don't have a lot of hand strength and I didn't have to jerk the trigger to make it go, yeah. uh, go bang. <laughs> but yeah, go bang. And uh, I was able to easily rack this gun and I mm -hmm. had um, some other guns before this and I was getting very tired on the range, mm -hmm. you know, with racking it at the end of the session, I'd be, Ugh. <laughs> Some I endurance. Yeah, I couldn't keep doing yeah. it. And um, I just really liked the gun. It felt comfortable. The other guns, I won't mention them, but they hurt my hand. You hurt your hand. Yeah, they so hurt a little me. sting on yeah. those guns. Yeah, yeah. And, in the, uh, and the uh, grip just wasn't as comfortable. Mm -hmm. so. so this is definitely a rounded grip. One of the things that pretty much everybody flocked to the P324 was that trigger at the very beginning. And I waited a long time to try to find one when they first came out and it was sweet. And then we learned it had to go back for an upgrade because it might just go off if it were dropped at the right angle. So did I you was, send this back I, one? No, I was lucky. Mine came already fixed. Oh, you were after the voluntary recall. Right, well, right. Um, some, a lot of people still haven't done the voluntary recall. I'm the safe one. I went ahead and did that, but the trigger is still really nice and oh, sweet. It's beautiful. Yeah. So let's take a look at what we have here in terms of the 365 and the 365 XL. Um, you were looking at them a little bit earlier for me. And you're like, well, what's the difference? So let's take a look at what the differences are. So the 365 came out first, and this was the one to rival the um, Glock 43 Sweet, because. Right it was yeah, gonna be the same, the same size, size, right? But the capacity is much bigger, right? We only got six in that, this one it has 10. 10. So when we're looking at this, and then the 365 XL came out, and it's a little bit longer in the slide and um, on the grip, and it came out with a capacity of 12. Oh. Yeah, and oh, mind you, more. yeah, more <laughs> is better, more is better. And just so you know, SIG makes a 15 round capacity magazine that will fit both of these. Um, it extends quite long, so in terms of concealed carry, especially on you who has quite a slight frame under the big jacket, might not be quite as um, you know agreeable to concealed right. carry, but certainly nice out here practicing. So let's take a look at some of the differences. All right, so when we're looking at the specs of each of these guns, when you said, how are they different, right away we can see just a different in, difference in length and a difference in the height here. This is actually only going to be not quite even half an inch in the height. The length is going to be um, between 5.8 inches and 6.6 .6 inches on the XL. The other thing you said is, well, is it, does it have a wider grip? No, it doesn't. Mysteriously, they are exactly the same, just a hair over an inch wide. Now, the interesting piece, when we look at what are the differences, not too much. Um, they all have this really nice textured uh, grip. I, of course, put a talon on this one, but you don't really need one. Um, one of the differences is that we'll notice is that the XL has a flared magwell where the XL does not. So this one will just lend itself to a little bit more easy feeding when you're putting oh, the magazines okay. in where this one is a little bit more narrow. That is one of the main differences. Um, yeah, go ahead. The sights 
are interesting. These will come standard because these are some of the things we always look at. Um, the optics here. These are the Siglite standard night sights. I always say to folks who are shooting these, and you can fondle that and look at them. So the front dot, your front sight is going to glow like anything. See how nice yeah, and I big like that it. is? And the rear sights, though, you don't really detect them too, too much, you see, because right. we're in the bright sunlight. At nighttime, they're going to glow like crazy. So the 365 is exactly the same. Now, the only difference in these optics that we're going to see is that this particular one is not going to be red dot ready. All right, so if you are a red dot person, please know this one is not going to um, be ready to do that on the slide mount, whereas the XL would be. So if you become a dot person, where you could go ahead and take that off and go ahead and put a dot on it because uh, of how it is on the slide mount. Guys, Try the that. other thing is these the sights are much clearer on this gun. To you, really? Yeah. Okay, so the only thing that I might I say is that we've got a longer slide, right? So that front sight is certainly farther away from this rear sight, so that might be giving you a different type of sight picture than you would get on the XL yeah, because it's shorter. One last physical difference that I really want to point out to Gail, and this is sometimes a really big deal for people, is the trigger. And it's actually the shape of that. So on a 365, oh, you will see a nice curved little moon on this trigger where this one is flat. Yeah. So a lot of people are now preferring this flat one, but they're going to have the exact same pull in terms of the weight. It's about six pounds, which is, you know, medium sized weight, upper level for a striker fired gun, but the trigger is nice and crisp and you can't accidentally just press it either. So it has a little more weight to it, so you really need to mean it if you're going to shoot it. But it's gonna have an amazing surprise break for you. Um, it's not like I will say, oh, that trigger feels mushy sometimes. It's not mushy by any means. So the biggest differences are gonna be just size, length here, and height here, this trigger um, variety, if you like that. The sights come standard the same, and a little bit of weight. So let's go ahead and see. Now, I didn't mention the biggest factor of all, Gail is left-handed. So, you know, most guns aren't left-handed um, friendly. Oh, um, sinister. <laughs> she is sinister. So she has just mastered right-handed guns being left-handed, but of course you can always switch out the uh, magazine release to the other side if that's something you want to do. So we're gonna let her fondle and play with each one of these and see which one she prefers. Okay, first, first impression. You didn't sock. <laughs> you actually shot it. No, great. I, I saw. Oh, there's two where they shouldn't be. <laughs> where they shouldn't be. Well, it's the first time you ever picked up that gun, so that's actually an amazing, nice grouping for that. It, so, first it impression. It feels comfortable. Okay. Um, was it easy for you to rack? Yeah. It was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even notice racking. You didn't even notice. So didn't that's even a notice good sign. It. So it no. wasn't difficult. That's a big thing because people are always about: Is it easy for me to use and you know, can I shoot it well? So well, I know for me racking is a big thing. So no, I didn't even notice racking it. No, you know. Really, real easy. How do you like the trigger? It's different from my other thing. Okay. I still like it. I didn't feel like um, it was a little tighter. Probably, I don't know if it's a newer gun. It probably. is a newer gun, yeah. yeah. I, but um, I still liked it, and obviously, I was able to yeah perform. <laughs> <laughs> you always do, which is what I appreciate. What do you think about that big glowy dot? I liked it. Easier to acquire, especially the Definitely. aging eyes. Right? Well, yes. I was just going to add with aging eyes. No, right. my eyes aren't aging, but yeah, okay. they are. <laughs> okay. Let's try the XL. Okay.
That didn't suck. You actually shot that Bet. one a whole lot. I don't, the last one was good, but this one was better. Every single one of them was a heart shot on this one. But I noticed that you jumped around. You had a lot of more movement right. with that one after yeah. each shot. Right. Um, and you have a little bit of a tremor, and I tend to think I, that the heavier gun balances that tremor a little bit. It, it does. That's um, the 320 uh, subcompact bang, bangs around in my hand so much, I didn't like it, mm -hmm. which is why I went to the bigger gun. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's interesting that the other one, the smaller one, I figured would bounce around more, and it mm -hmm. didn't. It didn't. Yeah. You felt this one bounced around more? Oh, absolutely. Okay, so yes. a which is a little bit of difficulty handling some of the recoil on that one. Yeah. But you shot it better. <laughs> <laughs> I know, so how do you decide? <laughs> how do we decide? We keep shooting, that's how we decide. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so winding out SIG day here. So interesting. Um, one thing I will say is that we have used both of these on um, my line where we do classes, and these guns pretty much eat anything you are going to feed them. Some guns are picky about ammunition, not this. We typically will use Fiocchi, Blazer Brass, um, you name it these will eat it so they're not really picky about ammunition um, so that's a good thing so first impression what you're liking and you mentioned uh, off camera to me about the trigger on the XL which is the flat trigger right. shoe I'm used to a curved trigger this uh, 320 mm -hmm. has a curved trigger so I could feel it was different mm -hmm. uh, so it just took a little while to get to where I could feel where my uh, set your break, break point break, was going break to be point was. Mm -hmm. um, but not something you couldn't no, figure I, out. It was uh, just new. It was it different. Was, it's different. It was it's, just different. Not good or bad. And um, and of course we had discussed that this one jumped around in my hand a little bit more, mm -hmm. which I was surprised right. at because I thought the smaller gun would have more recoil. Typically yes, but these are built really well. So for retail of four ninety nine on the P three sixty five and about five seventy nine on the XL, fit, feel, comfort, and whichever one you confidently and accurately shoot, that's the one you're going to buy. So Gail and I are going to go head out and keep shooting. Remember to hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment and a like, and let me know what you would prefer or if you've shot both of them, if you like the XL or just the regular 365. I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine with my friend Gail. Remember, it's your life. Protect it.